so hello everyone in this video i'll be showing you a very beautiful game which was played in the ussr championship 1972 between mikhail tal and mikhail a mukhin so here let's go to the game so here mikhail tal is playing with the white pieces and mukhin is playing with the black pieces mikhail tal starts the game with e4 and mukhin chooses sicilian defense so he plays c5 here mikhail tal plays knight to f3 and here mukhin plays pawn to d6 mikhail tal offers a pawn exchange which mukhin happily accepts it so here mikhail tal takes back the pawn and after that mukhin plays knight to f6 attacking on e pawn so here knight c3 protects the pawn so here mukhin plays pawn to a6 preventing this bishop from coming on b5 square so here Mikhail Tal does move his bishop but he moves it on c4 so here Mukin plays pawn to e6 further ideas of pushing forward is d pawn so here M Mikhail Tal takes back his bishop on b3 here Mukin plays b5 and after that white castles so here Mukin plays bishop to b7 so as you can see now there are two attacks on this piece so this piece has to be protected so here Mikhail Tal plays e1 and after that what Mukin plays was knight to b d7 but here Mikhail Tal plays bishop to g5 and here Mukin plays his, bish his knight to c5 but instead he should have considered this move of kicking away the knight back sorry the bishop back but he played a good move only this move is also not that bad so he played bishop he played his knight to c5 and after that Mikhail Tal finds some weakness in opposition's position and here he sacrifices his bishop he plays his bishop to d5 now let's see what happens if the opposition takes it with a pawn so if black takes it with a pawn so there comes a discover check on the king so this king has to either move on d7 square or this bishop has to come in between so suppose if this bishop comes in between the check so then king can yeah Mikhail Tal will simply place his queen on e2 so now here Mikhail, Muk Mikhail Mukin cannot castle because there are two attacks on this on this bishop so if he castles then the material will be totally equal after all the pieces are captured so here Mikhail Tal can play like his rook to c8 that would be a good move like he can in future he can come on c7 square and protect the bishop but here Mikhail Tal can play his knight to c6 and if Mukin Mukin definitely has to capture this knight because it is attacking on the queen and on bishop also so this has to be taken so once you take it and the pawn takes it back the rook can if the rook takes the pawn so here Mikhail Tal will play his bishop to f6 and take the knight so here after taking the bishop back here Mikhail Tal will have this move of knight to d5 so now this bishop cannot be saved anywhere also this rook cannot go on this place otherwise white will rook, uh, lose his rook also so here this bishop cannot be moved anywhere the best move for black would have been moving away is king to f8 but here like white can simply take the piece back and white will be definitely in a better position here blacks all the pieces are not at all active here black has a very misplaced pawn structure 
so definitely white will dominate the game and he is definitely going to win this one so now let's see what happens if this king move on d7 i'll show you this variation also in further video so now let's see if this bishop this bishop is definitely cannot be taken by the pawn else you lose the game now let's see if black's bishop takes the bishop so here the game would have been equal the black will take the knight back and if you take the knight then the similar variation occurs again so here what black played was he moved his pawn to b4 attacking on white's knight but here white took the bishop now we cannot take the knight else you lose your rook over here so black mukin took the bishop from his knight and here mikhail Tal sacrificed his knight also so if black would have ignored this knight and continued to continue to move something like bishop then i think so the game would have been equal for black but it it is very clear that black will be under great pressure throughout the game. here black mukin thought of taking this knight and he took this knight and after that he got a discover check from the rook so here he moved his king to d7 and now Mikhail Tal played pawn to c3 so he has to introduce his king and queen in the attack too so this has to be prevented so here Mukin played pawn to b3 which is the only move how you can prevent this queen from coming on a4 square so here Mikhail Tal took the queen and after that Mukin plays knight to c5 so here Mukin is attacking the queen also is preventing the queen from coming on a4 square so here Mikhail Tal knew this move is going to come and he played queen to c4 and now his idea is clear that he is going to uh, move his pawn forward and take this knight because this knight cannot be moved if you try if Mukin moves his knight anywhere then there is a direct checkmate so you cannot move the knight so Mukin plays queen to c8 and here he tries to defend this knight but that is useless after knight to c6 and here Mukin like he didn't know how to continue with this game so he doesn't have any good move he thought of kicking away this bishop from the square and he played pawn to h6 but now it is like too late Mikhail Dal took the takes the knight and after pawn takes the bishop back here Mikhail Tal plays his rook to e3 the idea of creating a battery of the rook and checkmating the king so here here what Mikhail Tal Mukin played was king to c6 but after that Mikhail Tal played b4 and now pinning this knight definitely because this knight cannot be moved if you try to move this knight anywhere then there comes a discover check from the queen and you lose your and you lose your queen so this cannot be done and after that Mukin plays rook to g8 because he doesn't have anything and before Mikhail Tal could play his next move he resigned the game because there is nothing left in this game white will firstly take the knight from the square and after that he will create the batteries of rook and this cannot be saved so yeah Mikhail Tal played this game like very brilliantly this is it from this video Please do like my video, share my video, comment down your views on this video and subscribe my channel for more such beautiful games. Thank you. Bye-bye. See ya. Take care.